Hey, what's up, Ninja Kid fam? We are here with a project. We are going to make some homemade weights. So if that sounds interesting to you, let's get after it. Intel is just me. The boys are actually up in bed sleeping right now, but we gotta get some stuff done. What started this project was we actually poured a slab for some for a basketball hoop. So we have some leftover concrete. So what we're going to do is we're gonna pour those into some two pound protein powder containers and add a little eyeball and see how it goes. You might be saying, Scott, but what about a handle? You can't stick your finger through there. You're right. Well, you could, but it'd hurt. But you can take a carabiner, huh? Hook it in there, right? Then you can take a cannonball hold. This one's from Rocky Mountain Climbing Gear. And you can just hold it up. So I'm thinking like farmer's carry, you could do curls with it. This is gonna be pretty awesome. So then we can make whatever handle we want. Attach it here. We can use our nunchucks we made. Go check out that video if you haven't seen it. You can use all kinds of handles. Options are endless. So first things first, we need to make sure when we put the eye bolt into the concrete that it's centered. Because if it's off balance, your whole weight is gonna be shifted a little bit, right? So as you hang, hold it, it might be hanging a little bit like this. Our container conveniently actually has lines down both sides from when it was molded together. So that's gonna already show us the middle. So what I'm going to do is mark those lines on the top rim. So now when I hold this down, I can see exactly where it's supposed to be. Okay, so there's, there's my middle there. <clears throat> But now we have to find the middle of this bar. So to do that, what I'm going to do is mark where this kind of intersects the top rim here. And then now I can measure the difference in there. That's right at four inches. So then what we'll do is we'll grab our marker, mark it right at the two inch mark. And now, that is right where the eye bolt needs to hang. So I'm gonna make that line a little fatter so we can kind of see it when the eye bolt's sitting on top of it. So now, we put the eye bolt through there, line up all of our lines, center this. That's gonna be pretty close to center. It's the best way I can figure out how to do it. If you have a better idea of how to find the dead center of this, uh, please share it in the comments down below. Help others build this project uh, more efficiently. What I'm going to do is just so I can kind of mix it evenly and all that is I'm going to just take a few scoops of concrete, add some water, mix it up, a few scoops of concrete, water. That way it's all dry and I don't have to try to mix this whole thing. So let's get started. If it's not obvious, I don't work with concrete. In fact, pouring the basketball hoop little circle thing, that was the first time I'd ever poured concrete. So, if you have any tips working with concrete, make sure you leave those in the comments because I could use them. So we take our eye bolt that we made, the washers on it, slider on there, you know it doesn't have to be perfect yet. Drop that in. Line up our mark. So here's our lines, here's our lines. Line those up there. We line this up here. Done. So now that we got this one done, I'm gonna go ahead and just do the second one. I'll spare you from watching it. There we have it. Two are mixed up, centered, waiting. I'm gonna get this trowel cleaned up and get this other stuff cleaned up. Obviously I spilled a little bit. <laughs> uh, don't tell my wife. Oh wait, she was recording the first part. Whoops. The truth, time to cut this open. What do you think? This is gonna be awesome. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Those are 
put it on the scale. Oh, it's a fatty, about 17 pounds. Let's try it out, dude. Okay, go ahead and connect our handles. Oh, yeah, there you go, Jay. Oh, let me see, bud. Oh, snap. It's even heavier because of this. What do you think? We are super excited to put these to use, try different holds. We're gonna come up with different holds to attach to these carabiners. You know, whether they're square grips or round grips or cannonballs or nunchucks. We're gonna try coming up with some new ideas. If you have any ideas, let us know. There's one more downside to these weights, but real quick, I hope we earned your subscription to our YouTube channel. We are here to encourage you, educate you, and engage you to go and do something you weren't able to do before. One thing I still need help with, I'm not sure if it's the way I poured the concrete, but it's kind of crumbly. Is that something I did wrong? If you know, please help us out. Please leave it in the comments so someone else who's building these can easily change that going forward. We are a community here. It's yeah. nothing without you watching the videos. Make sure you help others out by letting us know if you have an idea of how we can make these better. That's my goal. You go and make these better than we did. See ya!